what we're seeing. Mike said up here, we have three deer that are about 20 yards off of this property line. They seem to be working their way down here. Hopefully they come across that fence. If they do, Mike will have a shot. How many are you counting? Four? Three. One, two, three. One at the top. There's two at the top. One, two, three, four, five. All right, y'all, here's the situation. We got five deer in that field, but they're on the other side of the property line. We're right next to an airport, so excuse the noise. Mike and I are going to try to sneak in front of them and hopefully at some point they cross over the property line. Here we go. We're going to try to get repositioned. Don't look, Mike. Hey, y'all, look what I sit on. <laughs> I only just sit on fresh deer step. Look at us. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now as we're moving, there could be more deer over here. So you got to be ready, okay? If I was to start walking up there, I'd probably get in trouble. In the field? Yeah. Because there could be people hunting this way oh, yeah. watching me from here. Yeah. Guys, I don't know how we're going to get in front of those ones. something spooks them this way. Alright y'all, 
So I am trying to hunt and still film with an iPhone. Right on that tree edge there are two does. Right below that power pole, you see. They are working their way down here. Out in that field out there, you can see them moving. Especially over there is a big buck and three does. Mike's trying to call them in from that side. I'm set up here hoping these does come down this field edge and come to me. Let's see what happens. Well, y'all, after watching all those deer come out along this field edge over here, we've made a move. We took the blind from where it was, and we're going to tuck it in this corner here. <laughs> the funny part is, is the cows know we're here. This is the whole field that they ran down through. There was a lot of them. So we'll see what we can do. <sighs> hey, Mike. Those are not deer. They're good eating. Them. We're gonna have a Mexican standoff. I didn't think so. All right, y'all. Now that the cows have given us permission to be here, we're gonna climb. <laughs> we're climbing their blind. Hey, y'all, as you saw in the previous update, Mike and I moved the blind, and boy, did it pay off. Yes, I have my headgear in orange, too. Mike, what do we get? We got two white-tailed doe. Boom. Yeah, we took, a, took the shot. Mike's was about 125, probably 150. Mine was about 100, and she was being chased by a buck. And uh, making that move made all the difference. Let me show you a picture of them right here. All right. There we go. Hello. Two beautiful doe. We're going to continue to hunt. Maybe get one of these bucks to step out. But uh, yeah, they came out of the woods from over here. We moved the blind back there behind the cedars by about 75 yards. And uh, yeah, beautiful. All right, y'all, we're gonna keep hunting and see if we can't get a couple more doe because we're allowed to have two in this, uh, in zone six for gun season. And maybe even possibly buck. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned. Let's get these loaded up. Guys, the deer activity is not stopping. If you look up there at the top of the hill, right by the power line, we just had a buck step out. We had a doe come through a few minutes ago. We cannot shoot on that property because that is not part of the property we have permission to hunt on. And then we just had four doe run through on our right side. There's another deer behind that one. Yep, there's a second deer behind that one. Um, we just had four doe step out behind us. But once again, we are on the property line of this field and we cannot shoot that way. So we're gonna hope that these deer continue to move. See it? See the second one behind it? Mike? Yeah. Yep, here it comes, stepping out. So hopefully these deer start to move across. We are still looking for one more doe each and hopefully both of us can see a nice buck. All right, stay tuned. All right, y'all. We had the doe come out along this fence line. There's five of them. And I put a pretty good shot on this one right here. So we got her gutted. We're gonna get her cleaned up. I got my orange off only because I'm out of the woods. I'm on private property. We're not hunting. There's no one else in this area. So Anyone wants to say anything, it's right there. I took it off, I just got at the deer. I'm gonna put it back on in two seconds. Anyway, <sighs> got out here, permission farm, opening day rifle in East Tennessee, for well, for Tennessee altogether, opening day rifle. And uh, we're tagged out for doe in this unit. So this is unit six, we're tagged out for doe. We're excited about that. Still got two buck tags. And uh, the reason I'm really excited about that is while I was processing this doe, Let's walk over here and look at this. 
That, my friends, is a fresh scrape. Oh yeah, look at that. There's the shavings on top of the grass and the leaves. We got us a buck running around here that's got some decent size to him. No matter what you do, guys, remember, pursue your passion. Get outside, keep things simple. The best things in life are kept simple. We appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon on Simple Life Tennessee.